YouTube family. Apparently, the situation is still going the way it's going. But Rick Ross responds to Gilly the Kid's this on million dollars worth of game and then gilly the kid also respond to explain to dj academics why he dissed the boss ross we're gonna get started with this and before we get started with this great video i want y'all to hit the notification bell make sure you rock and subscribe to the channel don't miss any notification of news coming by make sure when you click on that notification bell you click on all everything whatever it writes get all the notifications now what we need y'all to do is get ready for that fbg duck intro like So we're going to explain before I show you what Gilly said, let's go through a rundown of what happened, why Gilly the Kid dissed Rick Ross. And it started with videos like this about his boxing. Rick Ross, I guess, was throwing a jab at somebody saying, all oh, you people who be, uh, 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 but let's just go to it. All that breathing shit. They want you to think they punching so fast like Bruce Lee. That ain't nothing. That's the nigga making that noise with his mouth. And if you fall for it, that's you. I'm gonna eat it. Ah! Welcome back to the channel once again. And then when you looked at the situation of the Ross situation, he also got a cow. This is what Gilly the Kid said that statement about Ross getting a cow. Before we go to Gilly, let's look at Ross getting that cow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually happened. Now, if I didn't. Right. This is my first look at him, big boy. Too. Look at him. Come on, daddy. You you eyeballing you know, feed you good. <laughs> you gonna eat like good. Oh, you gonna eat like the biggest boss right there. I'm ready for it right now. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I'm in the Central Land and Sandbox. Sandbox. Okay. Okay. His name is Trust, but you know we can re-register, change his name. Yeah, you can boss. name him whatever you Look, mind y'all business. We've been talking about getting the cow. <laughs> you better believe it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. The cow, he's still, he less than a year old. He only 10 months. To which then Gilly the Kid responded and he said this statement during million dollars worth of game these old they don't hear the roar of the crowd no more and they still think the world gonna come back so they be on instagram and they be on social media doing dumb shit. i just bought a cow and all this dumb ah. fuck would you buy a cow hey, you what? It's like, just bought yeah. A cow. yeah you know i was gonna bake nigga i seen you in them comments you know i was gonna bake your goofy ass <laughs> yeah when you used to lie it's like wallow in the cell. Oh, so, this ain't got nothing to do with you, okay. player. But you know I was gonna bake your dumb ass. I just bought a cow. Why the fuck would you buy a cow? Hey. Goofy All right. ass. Yeah, but uh, I ain't gonna anyway. lie I'm gonna keep it real, you know. You know, let them, they tried to go up on me down there, like, cause you know, I made a statement and said I run a certain part of things. You yeah. feel me? And if so, that's how you feel, that's at, how you feel. At, fuck. Now I'm still there. I'm, I, ain't, I ain't, I'm not fucking. And you run it. And we running. It. Fuck yeah. these old. They mad at me because I tell them, fuck them all. You ain't gonna do nothing. Uh. <laughs> he ain't said it, I said it. He ain't said it, I said it. And yeah. They and that's basically what you seen. But Gilly the Kid response was this. Gilly the Kid told DJ Academics, act, this ain't none effing sneak this. I'm talking to Ross. He should have never been in Mac Main comments calling me a fraud. 100 jesus so you know rick ross goes hard in the paint for the one they call little wayne most people know that he tries to look out for wayne tried to either be big brother i don't know which route he tried to take i think ross is older but you can clearly see ross been going out his way to throw disses at baby and a lot of these people they rock with baby still i don't know about gilly and baby i think they made amends to their situation but 
It's been a lot of back and forths, a lot of tit for taps and jabs. Ross moves the way he moves. Gilly moves the way he moves as well. So to say the brothers are beefing, I wouldn't call it beef. I would just call it a direct shot at each other and one another. And this is what you get when you get two alpha males. You know, to me, they still in their primes. The prime goalposts have been moved. They used to say when you're 27, you're in your primes. I think if even when you 50 some years old, which Gilly and Ross clearly not, but even when you're in your 50s, you could be in your prime. To me, prime is a mindset. There's a lot of younger folks out here who are just done and gone, man. To be honest with you, Gilly is ever expanding and growing himself and his brand along with Wallow. And I'm seeing Ross, the boss, doing the same thing, giving back to. To, to, to them those who are unfortunate Also buying up the block Which has been prosperous for Ross He's been doing a lot of endeavors out there I think Gilly the Kid felt some type of way Whatever comments that Ross said I wish Gilly would have said what Ross said Besides just calling him a fraud I wish we knew what it led to being called that But nonetheless calling someone a fraud Yeah they're gonna get back in some type of way towards you You know you're gonna have to see me At least that's how a lot of people feel And I really feel Ross was just making his move As the biggest boss he ever saw You dig what I'm saying So Gilly the kid rolling how he rolling It makes perfect sense why Gilly Would also feel some type of way He does have a legacy of pulling up on any rapper As far as saying something And, and not letting subliminal shots go without being vindicated Ross I think probably meant what he said too so I don't think neither men or or you know doing any subliminals at this point it's clear they might not like each other they feel some type of way about each other and I think Gilly Ben knew about it but Gilly waited or somebody sent it to Gilly being messy as well we do know people instigate and <laughs> they provoke others into going into a beef that can either be prosperous for those other individuals i.e bloggers i.e personal friends on both sides playing both sides i personally feel but it goes very far and should have ross called him a fraud i can't say yes or no i don't speak for another grown human being but it's already sent out there we can only hope it's not gonna go anything more further than what we have seen on social media i'm hoping it could stay and stick that way because good energy with hip-hop is always needed it's not like it's a woe is me mentality no it's just two men with a difference of opinion Opinion, and they said what they had to say Ross said it on Mac Main's comment section And Gilly the Kid said it on his Prosperous Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast I see no wrong on either side Both handle it their own ways Let's also just keep hoping it doesn't take further from there Because both men obviously got real street dudes who love them Real dudes who ride for them And they got a good fan base for both of them They got a good brand They don't need the tits for tats Unless if it's on social media And if it's not on social media Then make it just be what it is To agree to disagree or whatever Look man, I've been your guy DJ Bless One Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live, man. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Rock out with his channel. Share this video. We got another one. Another one? Yes, another one. FBG shit. Like it's flexing, shit